I really enjoy using a portable high seat. They're a great way of trying out new areas. I think they're an essential part of any Woodland Stalker's toolkit. Here's the one I've got with me. This one's dead easy to use. It literally just unfolds. If you can use a stepladder at home, you can certainly use this. The beauty of it is, you can put it up on your own. Now it's time to go and try and find a suitable location for it. Finding the right place for a high seat is all about field craft. You need stalking skills. You're looking for areas that the deer use so you can put your seat up in the best place for an ambush. You're looking for where they feed and the routes they take to get there. You need to find signs of recent deer activity. You might see some deer in the distance, but that doesn't mean it's a good place to set up. You need to find the places that they regularly use. Of course, you're thinking about your shooting too. There's no point setting up in areas of dense tree growth. You want a clear area for a good view and a safe clean shot. You're looking for the classic signs. Damaged trees, fresh slots in the ground, well used tracks, Fresh droppings can tell you a lot about when and how often a place was visited by deer. You might just have a gut feeling about a location and the portable high seat would be a great way to test it out. I get a real buzz when I find a promising spot. I'm really excited about this location. There's obviously deer using this area regularly. Um, we can see that from this well, well worn path running right the way through the trees here. We've got some droppings on the path itself, um, probably from fallow deer looking at the size of them. Um, if we take a look at these small young pines, these really have taken a bit of a battering. You can see here, um, there's quite a lot of fraying on there, probably from roebucks at this time of year. Uh, cleaning their antlers up. Uh, but they really have um, got stuck into these younger trees just in this area. Um, what I want to show you, straight down this ride. Well, we've got an obvious deer path here. It's running straight out of these mature pine trees across the ride into the younger trees just on the other side. It looks like a deer motorway to be honest. Droppings, 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 droppings. Look at this. Crossroads right in the middle of the ride, really well used. There's obviously a lot of deer in this area. All I need to do now is find out where to put my high seat. Droppings. The ideal spot for a high seat is one that provides some cover to keep you hidden, but at the same time allows for good vision and clear shooting. A sturdy tree on firm ground is always a good start. Try a few ideas out, stand in position, see how it feels. A good spot is not always obvious. You can fix up an area, trim the odd branch or two, but we want our surroundings to work for us, not against us. A bit of shelter from the wind is nice on cold days too. I'm really happy with this location. I've got great visibility down the ride. The surrounding trees are going to help me blend in with the background. Let's go and get the high seat.
Some preparation of the site is usually required and if you are doing any cutting you need the right tools for the job. A bit of pruning can go a long way to improve your chances of a clear safe shot from the seat. But make sure you have permission to do this. Take a bit of time to work out exactly what you need to do. Clear any brash or twigs from the ground and ensure you can have a quiet approach to your high seat. Make sure there's a firm and level base for it to stand on, just like you would with a ladder. There are lots of different designs of seat to be had. Some are designed to be super light and easy to carry. Others, like this one from Bushware, are more sturdy and provide greater comfort. Choose the one that suits you and your ground. They are all pretty easy to use, but make sure you read the instructions before you use them for the first time. Everything should be properly tightened and clicked into place. Watch your back when you're doing this. You could use the tree to help. Assess the site carefully, and if you are in any doubt, ask for help. At this stage, the seat is not fully secure, so you must apply extra caution as you climb it for the first time. You will be sitting in this high seat for a few hours, so for safety's sake, a proper fixing to the tree is essential. A small ratchet strap will do the job nicely for this lean-to type. Wrap it around, fix it to the ladder or the backrest. Safety is paramount. Keep checking your work. Check the seat is firmly anchored. It needs to be secure. Don't use the high seat if it wobbles. Think about it. If you have a fall, you're out on your own. You need to prioritise your own safety above everything. This feels perfect. Let's have a look at the view from the seat. After a time, the straps can work themselves loose. So always check the ladder before climbing. Now that the seat is in place, you can properly sample the view it gives you and how it feels. Check your shooting position. It should all feel good. You might need to make some adjustments for comfort. There's a couple of branches down the ride on the left that need taking off. This is going to definitely have to go. finishing touch and pop the sign on. If you plan to leave the seat unattended for any length of time, a sign should be attached advising it's not for public use. Remember the sighting and use of high seats should be incorporated into your general stalking risk assessment. The seat's safe and secure. I've got a great view of this ride that I know deer are using. I can't wait to return later with the rifle.
A great result from a portable high seat. I love it when a plan comes together.